What makes a smartphone smart? For example, with its internet connection, my phone knows things I don't like. How do you say thank you in Swedish? In Swedish, that's tuck. Tuck. Well, now I know. And while many seniors can enrich their lives using smartphones, like to see their grandchildren, for example, not every senior can handle or needs a feature-rich smartphone. Consumer Cellular offers phones and phone service for seniors to use, including this, the Verve Snap. And while there are lots of things it can't do that a smartphone can, it's smart enough to shoot this video. Hi, I'm Jeff Hoyt, Editor-in-Chief of SeniorLiving.org. In order to help people age with ease, we review medical alert systems, telephones, and other tech that allow seniors to live independently in their homes. Today I'll be reviewing the Verve Snap cell phone, it's a flip phone from Consumer Cellular, along with Consumer Cellular's own phone service. I'll unbox the phone, test it, and list the pros, cons, and latest prices. I'll explain who could benefit from using the Snap, such as seniors ready for a cell phone designed for their needs. Take this out here. Let's see, there's the phone. Looks pretty good. It says phone charger below, so we got our phone. Very nice. And besides the phone and the consumer cellular box, we have phone charger. And it also comes with the quick start guide. So I'm going to take this cable here, plug it into the charger it came with here, the wall charger, plug in the phone, activate it, and start going through the quick start guide to see how good the phone really is. So with its USB-C connection, Consumer Cellular makes it really easy for the charge of the Verve Snap. So the plug, it can go into an outlet two ways. One, or if you turn it up, side down, the other way, works just as well. Similarly, the USB-C connection goes into the side of the phone two ways, like this, or like this. So you can't mess that up. Sadly, there's only one right way to connect the cable and the plug. So you won't go in that way, I'll go in this way. Nobody's perfect. Speaking of which, it'll cost you extra if you want a charging dock. So when the phone's charging, it'll signal you three ways. Audibly, with a buzz, visually with a lightning bolt, and haptically, you'll feel the vibration. It's really important to have these three signals because it's so annoying when you think your phone is charging and it really isn't. So watch and listen. And there's a lightning bolt there. So the Verge Snap is really light at under five ounces. When it's closed, you can see it easily fits in the palm of your hand. And this outside screen here, well, it would give you the time, date, info about the battery and network single strength. And it'll even let you know when someone's calling you don't want to talk to, so you can choose not to answer. But right now this phone is off. So another nice touch is when I open up this bad boy, in here where it says end, it also says PWR for power. That way, if you ever forget how to turn on your phone, it reminds you. And lots of other phones I've had, well, they greet me with unmarked buttons. So these large, high contrast keys, they're a welcome sight. So, listen carefully. Did you hear that? That buzz lets you know the phone is turning on. So here at the bottom, underneath the splash screen that says Consumer Cellular, it also says, your phone is waking up. Please wait approximately 30 seconds. So that lets seniors unfamiliar with cell phones know what's going on. If you go over the landline, well, they're on all the time. There's a bright inside screen. It's got the day and date, network strength, battery strength, and branding. And at the bottom, there are menus that correspond to the buttons below it. You see contacts, well, it leads to your contacts list. Messages leads to your text messages. And let's try calling with the phone first. You can call people by clicking on them in your contact list or by entering a phone number using the call button. You see this heart button on the bottom? So after adding people to your phone, you can add the most frequently called to your favorites list. So they're easier to contact. And you can also use speed dialing. So calls on the snap using the consumer cellular service, they sounded clear, and I never had a call drop during my testing. And I also like the speaker phone. Here, listen carefully while I dial this number. So it's dialing, and I'm putting on the speaker. Thank you for calling the consumer cellular test line. This is a free call for you. By reaching this message, 
You now know that your service is working properly. And those who rely on hearing aids will be happy to learn that this phone is the highest rating for hearing aid compatibility for cell phones. The microphone rating on a scale of 1 to 4, it's an M4, that's the highest. Telecoil coupling rating, also the highest, T4. It's also Bluetooth compatible, so you can use it with a Bluetooth hearing aid or a Bluetooth earbud if that's what you like. So while calling is easy, texting reveals one of the biggest drawbacks of a phone that doesn't sport an alphanumeric keyboard. So with this phone keypad, each number represents three or four different letters. So you have to cycle through them all in order to enter your messages. If you have to use the same key consecutively, like typing the E and F's and Jeff, well, you have to wait to make sure the phone knows you're typing in a new letter and not still entering the previous letter. And there are quick replies supply that you can send, but adding your own quick reply using the keypad on the snap, well, that won't be quick or a snap. Remember that contacts list I mentioned? You can imagine how long it would take to enter a lot of names, numbers, and addresses using just a simple keypad. However, there is a workaround. So you can import contacts in batches if they're stored on a memory card, which you could enter and export from a phone with a real alphanumeric keyboard. Or you could hook it up to a PC where the contacts are stored. While sending texts is tricky and time consuming, receiving them is easy, as an adult could send their senior parent a detailed message. However, the font may not be large enough for people with vision issues. What else can the phone do? Well, let's start with this five megapixel camera, which can shoot stills and 720p video. It's not the greatest quality, but it's adequate, and it's easier to text a photo than to type in a message. And not only can you access it via direct camera button on the keyboard, but it has surprising options, like being able to change the 5x zoom just by using this handy four-way button at the top. And for you shutter bugs, you can even change the ISO if you don't know what that means. Let's just say it's a setting many more advanced phones lack in their cameras. The phone also includes alarms, a calendar, and a few tools, including a calculator, stopwatch, timer, and world clock. The snap comes with a list of cities, so you can simply add the ones you care about as opposed to having to type them in by hand. Now what the snap doesn't have is a flashlight that many other phones include, and that'd be quite helpful for seniors. But what do you expect for just $69 when other phones can sell for north of $1,000? Consumer Cellular will even let you buy it over time with just $21 down and $2 a month for two years. Now besides this red version, it also comes in black. Of course, it won't work without service. Consumer cellular service starts at just $20 per month, which includes unlimited talk and text, but not local taxes. AARP members save 5% or a dollar a month. And to get these low rates, you need to allow auto billing from your bank account, or it's an additional $5 a month. And Consumer Cellular also offers accessories to the phone, including a $29 charging dock I mentioned earlier, a $30 leather pouch slash holster, and an $11 SD card which makes it easier to add contacts and music to your phone. And with that card added, you can also store about 5,000 pictures or five hours of video on your phone. So is the consumer cellular Verve Snap right for you or your senior loved one? If you're looking for an inexpensive, simple phone that can be used to talk to family or dial 911, it's certainly worth investigating. Even if you already have a family plan, there may not be much savings to adding another line compared to a $20 per month line from Consumer Cellular. And for just $69, well, it's not a huge outlay if the senior doesn't like the phone, the phone is lost or stolen. Now they offer a 30-day free trial, so if you're not completely satisfied, you can cancel, return the phone, and pay nothing for the phone or early service. Nor do they charge activation fees. Some service providers will charge long-term customers $35 for activation, even if they're just upgrading their phones. And there's no long-term contracts. In fact, if you're not happy with the consumer cellular service, you could ask for the phone to be unlocked and try it on another service provider, well, after it's paid off, of course. Now, on the downside, there's no medical alert button built in, although you could add 911 to the speed dial or your favorite contact list. And the lack of a true keyboard, well, that means this phone wouldn't be a good fit for someone who regularly sends texts. Now, in an age where even garage doors and refrigerators are on the web, a phone without internet access or video call capability, well, it certainly isn't state of the art. But then again, comparing a $69 phone to a $1,000 phone, how much is it really worth for mom to learn Swedish? Talk! Consumer Cellular does offer senior-oriented smartphones as well as medical alert devices and even a tablet. For even more information about the Consumer Cellular Verve Snap, 
Read our review on SeniorLiving.org. And for more products to help you age with ease, visit SeniorLiving.org where you can find and compare housing options for seniors, including in-home care, assisted living, nursing homes, and everything in between. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Thank you.